Hey guys, I'm back with, you know, what other than Studio Calico, again, that same kit from April, but I really wanted to show you guys um, the sister page of this and kind of, you know, show me killing a kit. So here I am, um, and these photos are from the same day as the other page, just that they are a mixture between the Hollywood sign and Griffith Park as well. I went ahead and pre-cut the little page pocket ones that I was going to use from the paper because I think you guys know what it looks like already. Um, if you haven't already watched the previous three videos from this before, the only thing that I'm going to do this time is I figured with the black and white paper, I might as well watercolor it, right? I mean, more mixed media? That is right. So I am going to go ahead and do these pages. Um, and I am just mixing with a regular brush. I ditched the water brush. I'm not going to lie. We haven't really been friends. Um, it's not something that I can do when I'm trying to fill in like little tiny things. Because the bristles are really spread apart now. And maybe that's my fault. Um, you know, it probably is. But I just wanted to find a brush or use a brush that actually could get into tinier slits. So I'm going to go again with the same colors as I used in the page before. The orange, the red, and the like, I don't know, mustard color. I really would love to do more layouts, but unfortunately this trip that I took, or I keep thinking I took it, but when my family took a trip to visit me, um... I'm not sure that I have enough paper to stretch it because we have two other like big events that we did. So this might be the last page that I do with this kit, but I'm scared if I stop using it now, I'm not going to want to use like the random leftovers later. So we will see what I end up doing. I'm actually like in the midst of scrapbooking right now. I normally have to um, film edit and upload um, before I have enough room on my card to do another one. So this is pretty much it people. I'm, I'm going to be thinking while this is uploading. Um, but anyway, I think I'll skip ahead. I think you get the point of the watercolor um, and the pages. So then once I was done with those, you can see them in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to cut out another label. I was going to put the date on it, but then I decided that I think it would rather be better to put the location. Um, I normally use labels for dates, but, you know, I'm going to go crazy today. I'm going to go crazy today. So I had to figure out how to spell Griffith Observatory. Um, so I'm just going to write that down on to the little label. And I'm going to put that in the sky of one of the photos. And when you, like, look at the photo up close, it's kind of crazy. You can tell that there's just smog. Um, it probably was pretty early in the day, I'm not going to lie. But, you know, kind of sad that you can't really see the beautiful view all the way because of pollution. Sorry to make this, like, you know, video a little downer, so we'll move on. Um, but then I'm just going to put the other cards in, and by this point, I'm pretty sure that the cards were dry. So I put them in, and the good thing is that one card was starting to warp a little bit, but when I slid it in the pocket, it wasn't bending. It's too light of a paper to really, like, form um, anything but what the pocket page wants it to. So that really made me happy. So I decided to put stars on this page to correspond with the other page that I did a cluster of stars. And then I'm 95% sure, I haven't Googled it, but that observatory is a place where you look at stars. So I figured I would make almost like a little constellation. So I went ahead and like connected all the star dots once I glued them on. And then I knew I would add like little stars throughout the rest of the pages. But this was just one way to decorate one of the cards because like I said the kit didn't come with a ton of different um embellishments so I was just trying to really make do with what I had and use what I had then the next card I'm taking is a picture of me and my sister and this view is actually the one that is across from the Hollywood sign 
So whether you're looking at the Hollywood sign or you're um, looking the opposite direction, both are beautiful views. So uh, we took a photo on that side as well, and I am just gluing three different stars down um, in a less you know, crazy form. I did it in a pretty uniform three-star way. Uh, just add a little bit of something to that page, and then I added a smiley face to the corner. Because like I said, I'm trying to use up some of these embellishments, trying to kill the kit, so you got to use what you have. Um, so I put that one, and that one's going to be done. And then I'm going to add more stars to another picture. So moving on to the next card, which was, I'm not going to lie, kind of a fail. But I didn't edit it out. I just wanted to show you guys, you know, people make mistakes and you can fix them. Um, I was trying to find a pattern paper that I thought might look good. Just a little strip of it um, to put behind my letters to make them stand out just a little bit more. I mean, they're black, so they're going to stand out. But I thought, hey, let's do this, you know, a little cute. Let's add a little, a little extra more. So I decided to start gluing down the word hike. And I'm gluing it down. And if you notice... The H is already kind of long. Um, that I is, you know, pretty long. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to fit the, uh, you know, whole word. So thankfully, I put that piece of paper down because there was no glue on the paper once I uplifted the other one. And then I just decided to put the word hike uh, across the card. And it looked fine. It worked fine. Uh, but that's one of the dangers. And when I see other scrapbookers, they put it on, they put their sticky words on like, wax paper and then they make sure that it fits I just I don't know I don't have the time well I do have the time to do it I'm just too lazy let's be honest so that's what happens when you're too lazy but you know what you can fix it and look at me fixing it I think it looks great um so then I'm just putting little stars down um underneath the word hike and I'm done people that was very easy I probably should have waited though I, you could see like the letter shifting around because I'm too lazy to wait for it to dry um but I was trying to find uh, another place I could add one of these stickers. And I decided to add it right to the corner of this photo. Another just smiley face. And that's, that's it. And I'm going to show you guys up close more of the photos. So the first one is the one I just added the little stars at the top with me and my sister. Uh, this photo I split into two, which is my dad um, taking a photo. This is a view from the top of the hike for the Griffith Observatory. These are the two cards that I made with watercolor. And then this is a picture of my dad with the same view with my sister. The little, you know, beautiful uh, observatory card. And that's about it. I hope you guys are enjoying me killing this kit. I figured I would show, um, you know, what I've done so far with these papers. Just kind of wrap it up. Um, and then the Venice actually ended up falling, which I will go and glue. But then this is that layout, and this is the other side of it. I hope you guys enjoy. Give it a thumbs up if you do, and have a great day.